All right, let's go through the twit. This week in Destiny, April 11th, 2024, we have the prismatic summary. Uh, Destiny 2 Into the Light is live. Pantheon starts April 30th. Heads up display changes coming with the final shape. Weapon drops rotating soon. Kilts for kids returns. The weekly player support report and the artist and movie of the week winners. All right, so the new subclass is coming. We saw it with the final sh uh, the final shape uh, developer gameplay preview. They also released some of how the subclass forming would look. We posted a video on that earlier. If you haven't seen the video, make sure you go back to the previous videos and check that out. Destiny Into the Light is here. Uh, we've been playing Onslaught all week, getting our shiny versions of our weapons. Uh, can't wait for some more to come out so we can get, keep getting some more. We have our Into the Light cinematic. Obviously, we already saw it. These wallpapers are absolutely sick. If you're not grabbing these wallpapers, you need to because these things are freaking amazing. I already snagged a couple myself. But we've all been waiting for Pantheon, ready to challenge the gods. We've already shared some details about Pantheon. This is the new PvE challenge that will start on April 30th, where we're going through killing a bunch of raid bosses over and over and over for a chance at adept weapons that are intrinsic to all of these raids that you probably would need a dlc to get other than this but now we can go into pantheon and get this if you don't have the dlc so it's absolutely a w the goal of pantheon is to relive those incredible and heroic moments that raids always deliver while also changing what you expect from some of the encounters many of you already know so well prepare to be nimble adapt your strategies or throw them out the window completely nice and your fire team will find success pantheon will increase the skill difficulty each week starting with four bosses and then so on and so forth all the way up to the eight boss rotation and the power cap will change as well so this is going to be a time gated activity april the 30th they'll release us with the four raid boss version and it will increase in difficulty weekly uh very cool very awesome update i can't wait to see how this looks uh we'll be moving forward into that but obviously this lets you get some adept weapons that you were not able to get if you didn't have the dlc now you'll be able to uh they're also updating the hood uh today we also have some news about to share about the hood update coming with the final shape obviously we saw this in the preview of the final shape gameplay we are going to be seeing the buffs show up on the left side of the screen uh you're gonna see your boss debuffs or buffs show up at the top your debuffs over here for your person and then obviously your weapon buffs are gonna show up down in the bottom left this is a huge hood update so we have a critical info channel top center unstable light so many people are like i don't know if i have unstable light because they can't tell that their screen is glowing green for some reason and they're hearing a loud ringing in their ear now it's a big icon top center next to your health bar which you should be looking at anyway huge update thank you bungie we love that all right and the weapon channel above the super meter is going to be huge obviously if you're using eager edge swords sometimes the left side of the page gets full and you can't really see if you have eager edge proctor or anything like that so you can do escape it's going to show up above the bar now so that's absolutely a w great change from bungie here all right so we have the critical info up top they've already said that weapons down to the bottom left that's huge updates in the buff appearance okay in addition to setting up two new channels on the hood uh the team also took a pass at the readability of our buffs and debuffs nice so we have new symbols updated uh, making them more vibrant, making them more uh, distinguished amongst other symbols. We love that. Awesome. All right. All of our green buffs and red debuffs now have a thick line weight. Let's go. Cool. Also, timers now display on the left side of the buff icon. Beautiful. Rather than getting lost in translation out here, depending on how long they are, they're all going to show up in one location. Love that. This feels like more of a MMO experience. If you've ever played WoW, if you've ever played Final Fantasy XIV, you'll see that most of their buffs and debuffs line up with the timer on the same spot. So this actually makes it feel like more of a MMO uh, UI. We love that. Uh, future considerations, as many of you noticed, some footage shown on our April 9th Final Shape developer gameplay preview showed an in development hood channel that was off to the right of the screen. Okay, so they're not giving us that right side of the screen just yet. During development, we got a lot of feedback that this was pulling players' eyes to unfamiliar parts of the screen. Oh, okay, that makes sense. That's why we refocus the display in the final shape to evaluate adding another channel and upcoming releases. Okay, so that's huge. All right, so not debuffs on the right. We're gonna have the critical buffs on the top with as well as our buffs on the left. Okay, that makes sense. Obviously, if they're still playing with the UI. They're developing it every day. As long as it works, it works. If it doesn't work, obviously we know that they're making changes. So that's always a good thing. Weapons rotating on June. Trials of Osiris. Unexpected resurgence. Glaive is out of rotation. Thank you. 
Uh, Cataphract Grenade Launcher is going out of rotation. Last week to get this is going to be April 23rd. Make sure you grind that. Honestly, we don't really need it with Edge Transit out, but if you're still looking one for one with Envious Assassin and Bait and Switch, make sure you grab it. The Messengers last week is May 14th, and Igneous last week is May 21st. Nightfall, Braytech, Osprey, get out! Nobody wanted you anyway. Thank you. Last week, April 9th. Nobody's going to grind it. Don't worry about it. Loaded question, fusion rifle. We have a lot of better fusion rifle options. So I see this as a W as well. I think these two are probably lower on the tier list of all the other Nightfall weapons we have. Absolute W win in my book. We love that. Iron Banner. All right. So we got Urim's Claw Pulse Rifle. Last week is going to be April 30th. Uh, Bite of the Fox Sniper Rifle, April 30th as well. Pressurized Precision Fusion Rifle. Last week is April 30th. And Swarm of the Raven Grenade Launcher last week is april 30th so last week to get this is going to be april 30th for all these iron banner weapons if you're looking for any of them make sure you get them uh even if weapons are not dropping any longer you can always focus them from their respective vendors but remember that the adept variants of trials of osiris and nightfall weapons can't be obtained or focused unless featured so once they're out of rotation, you can't get in the adept one anymore. Okay, so make sure you grind for your adept version while you still can. And then we're doing the Kilts for Kids fundraiser is going to return. Obviously, you know, we get involved with every Bungie fundraiser that uh, happens. So we will be uh, participating in this one as well. Here are your new emblems that you can get for Kilts for Kids. We love that, honestly. Everybody's going to be probably wearing all of their kilts and everything. All right, let's get involved. Uh, awesome twit. Honestly, the UI changes, weapon changes, all very good things. I I'm excited to see this uh, UI change come into effect and i'm excited to see the new guns and old guns leave that don't belong there any longer let me know what you think down in the comments make sure you like comment share with a friend follow and subscribe if you know which platform you're on and we'll see you in the next one